Okay guys, so in this example we're going to have a quick look at how to multiply double brackets in algebra. So for example, if we have a question like x plus 3 bracket x plus 7. And we're asked to obviously expand and work out an answer. So this is um, something that is taught in a couple of different ways. I'm going to show you two different methods to answer this question the same way. So in my first version of this question, you can use what we call the array method. Now, the array method might have been something that you've done in first year when you were looking at long multiplication. So the way that I would have told my class about the array method was something to do with a field where a farmer is trying to work out the area of his field, but he's not very good at long multiplication, so he uses this array method. And basically what he does is he splits up his field into smaller sections, and then he works out the area of each of the smaller sections and adds them all together. So that's what we're gonna do for this. So my my first side or length of my field, if you want to think about it like that, is x plus 3. So I want to split that up into its different sections. There's two terms in that bracket, so I'm going to put one term along this section and I'm going to put my other term along this section. I'm going to do the same then for x plus 7. So x is going to be one section and plus 7 is going to be the other. And just like I would have told my first years, I'm going to find the area of each of these sections. So I'm going to just label these for you so you know which ones I'm talking about, A, B, C, and D. So I want to find the area of part A first of all. So it's kind of like the length here and the width here. So it's x multiplied by x, which gives me x squared. I want to find the area of B. So it's a length of 7 here and a width of x. So 7 times x gives me 7x. I'm also going to include the plus there just because it will help me later on. The next one then, the length or width here is 3 and the other one is x. So x times 3 gives me plus, sorry, 3x. And finally, plus 7 times by plus 3, which gives me plus 21. Therefore, to get my answer, all I'm going to do then is write out what all the areas are. So it's x squared plus 7x plus 3x, plus 21. Therefore, my answer is going to be x squared plus 10x plus 21. Okay, so that's using the array method to multiply out those two numbers, or two brackets, I should say. Now, there's a slightly different version, which some of you may have seen in school as well, um, and that's basically just where we are um, distributing one of the brackets over the other bracket. So the way that this method works is, and I'm just going to rewrite this out, is you split up the first bracket. So I'm going to split up the first bracket, I'm going to take the x out, and I'm going to multiply that by everything in the second bracket. And then I'm going to take my second term in my first bracket, and again, multiply that by everything in the second bracket. And then this is back to just what we were doing in the last um, video, which is just multiplying a single term by a bracket. So I'm going to do x by x and x by plus 7. That's going to give me x squared plus 7x. And then my other example then is going to be 3 times x and 3 times 7. So that's going to give me plus 3x plus 21. And what do you notice? We get the same answer. Okay, so that's two different versions of doing the same question. It really is up to you which one you prefer. Um, I think when you're introducing the topic, I think the array method is really nice because it kind of makes it more kind of real life. But obviously, if you, if you find the second method easier to follow, that's absolutely fine as well. Um, so yeah, let's try another example. Um, you can pause the video on the next question and then you can play it again to see how you get on. Okay, so like I said, have a quick go at this question on a sheet of paper and then you can play the video and see how we get on. Again, with this one, I'll do the two methods so you can see how they work. Okay, hopefully you got on well. So let's have a look at both methods. I'm going to do the array method first. So I'm drawing out my field and I'm splitting it up. And the x plus 4, I'm going to put an x here and a plus 4 here. And then my x minus 5. Now I need to be careful of that minus. So x is going to go here and minus 5 is going to go here. Really, really important. So fly through this bit. Find the area of my first um, box or my first rectangle, x times x, which gives me x squared. The next one is going to be minus 5 times by x, which gives me minus 5x. Again, be really careful of that minus. Next one is 4 times x, which gives me plus 
4x and finally minus 5 by plus 4 which gives me minus 20. Therefore writing that out we're going to get x squared minus 5x plus 4x minus 20. So therefore my answer is going to be x squared minus x minus 20. Be careful there, it's minus 5 plus 4, so we've got minus 1 left, so I just write down minus x. Taking that over then to my other method, method number 2, again I'm just going to rewrite this 8 so it's a bit smaller. So I'm going to distribute my terms here over my second bracket. So I'm going to start off with the x, I'm timesing that by x minus 5, and then I'm taking out my plus 4, and I'm putting that over x minus 5. So x times x gives me x squared, x times minus 5 gives me minus 5x, 4 times x gives me plus 4x, and plus 4 times minus 5 gives me minus 20. Collecting all those together, then we get x squared minus x minus 20. So we're going to have a look at one more example um, for this video. This one I'm going to make is a little bit trickier. So the question is 2a minus 5 times by 3a plus 2. So the reason why this one's obviously a little bit trickier is because we've got numbers in front of the letters as well. But once you apply the same logic, it's the exact same question. So have a go at it, pause the video, and then you can check back and see how you got on. Okay, so let's do this in our two sections or two methods again. So splitting up my field, 2a minus 5 and 3a and plus 2. Finding the area of each of my smaller rectangles. So the first one is 2a multiplied by 3a. So that's 2 times 3, which gives me 6, and a times a, which gives me a squared. Second one, 2a multiplied by plus 2. That's going to give me plus 4a. The next one, 3a times by minus 5. So plus by a minus gives me a minus. 3 times 5 gives me 15. And we put, pop the a on the end. And finally, plus 2 multiplied by minus 5. That's going to give me minus 10. I'm going to write out my answer now. So that's going to give me 6a squared plus 4a minus 15a minus 10. Collecting up the like terms, we have 6a squared plus 4a minus 15a. So that's minus 15 plus 4. That's going to give me minus 11a minus 10. Let's double check we've done that correctly and try the other method. So I'm going to have 2a multiplying by 3a plus 2 minus 5 multiplying by 3a plus 2. So we're going to multiply that out. So 2a times 3a gives me 6a squared. 2a by 2 gives me plus 4a. Minus 5 by minus, sorry, by 3a gives me minus 15a. And minus 5 by plus 2 gives me minus 10. Collecting up my like terms, 6a squared minus 11a minus 10. And look, we have the same answer again. So I definitely would recommend being confident with both methods, but of course, one might suit you a little bit better than the other, and that's perfectly fine. 